Welcome to Great Everyday Italian Wines. My name is Gary Grunner. And I'm Bob Lipinski. Today we're talking about grappers, liqueurs, and amados. And what a great way to end any meal. Bob, is it true that Italy has more grappers and amados and bitters than anywhere else in the world? And liqueurs. And liqueurs. Types um, and varieties of liqueurs, grappa, and also amato, which means bitter in Italian. Amazing. Now, that means in all 20 regions we're going to find different things, or is this a whole category? How does that work? Each region has its own indigenous amato, or bitters. Not every region produces grappa, but most of the regions from the central to northern part of Italy, because grappa really originated up in the, the areas of Veneto, and Friuli, Venezia, Giulia. Uh, but definitely every region has bitters, every region has liqueurs. No. Grappa is first becoming really popular. It used to be the old saying was that the farmers and the grape growers would keep that for themselves. Yeah, you know? this, this grappa years ago used to be like paint thinner or varnish, like the saying, it hits the spot, but I would rub it out. But the grappa produced nowadays is extremely high quality. You know what grappa is? Grappa is an unaged brandy. So if I took, you took your finest cognac or finest brandy, took it off the still and did not put it into a barrel, wooden barrel, it would be an unaged brandy. Grappa is an unaged brandy. And you have clear, occasionally we put grappa in wood, right? and occasionally we have different flavors. We have even a chamomile grappa. Chamomile grappa, it's got grappa with chamomile actually extract into it. Okay, is, is that good before I go to sleep, or should I have that after the meal? Right, you can have it before meal, during meal. Grappa, by the way, is great. I like to serve it chilled, no ice. Uh, also, we have a grappa here. Uh, which has very simply been in stainless steel or glass, and there's been no aging whatsoever. These are the three grappa. Everybody knows about Sambuca. This is Molinari Sambuca, which is the largest selling Sambuca in Italy. Uh, Aperol, which is part of the bitters family. Bitters are great before dinner because bitters are a natural stimulant to the appetite, and also after dinner because they're great digestives. Virtually all bitters, you can serve it with soda water, or like a sparkling mineral water. You can serve it with a wedge of lemon. You can serve it with ice. You can serve it with some orange peel. All bitters work very, very good. Uh, and I'll put always a great one with some Prosecco. Well, I was just going to say, our, yeah. last, our last trip to Veneto, we were in the bar and the pubs, and that's exactly what they're drinking. And all around New York, and if you go into L.A. or if you go into Vegas uh, or Miami, the big drink right now is Prosecco and Aperol with a wedge of lemon. Campari, everybody's favorite. It's been around since probably the 1700s. Uh, Campari and soda, everybody loves it. Great product. Lemoncello. Lemoncello basically talks about the southern part of Italy where they have these large, large, like bread lemons coming from the area, like Salento. But Lemoncello, really good stuff. Francelico, or your hazelnut liqueur. Uh, and then finally, two of my absolute favorite bitters, Fernet Branca and Montenegro. All bitters are... They take a base of alcohol, and they taste various parts of a plant. They call botanicals. Mm -hmm. And they immerse them in this alcohol for weeks or months. Every bitters is a proprietary secret. Some really exciting stuff here. The interesting thing is I believe this, the category is getting more and more popular now it than is. ever before. And it is. Well, thanks for joining us again. It's Great Everyday Italian Wines. Once again, liqueurs, amados, grappa, and, and, and amaros. Thank you.